Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Medea J, and today's video is going to be a declutter of my concealers. Yep, these are all my concealers. I know it's crazy. <laughs> I don't think I've recorded a declutter for concealers, so we're gonna do that today. If that sounds like something you'd like to watch, definitely please subscribe if you haven't and turn on your notification bell so you know when next I release a video. And let's jump right in. So I don't want to waste any time. I kind of know the ones that I want to keep and the ones that I want to get rid of. All in preparation for like a room tour of my space. So I'm trying to declutter anything that I'm not using or anything I didn't enjoy. So the ones I'm going to keep, I'm going to pop them here. Anything I'm decluttering, I'll put them to the side. I've got a brand new super size Conceal and Define full coverage concealer in C13. One of my absolute favorites. I mostly have videos using these products, so definitely check out my channel. Conceal and Define in C12.7. I do like to try the different shades. So yeah, keeping this one, I've used it actually. The XX Revolution CX 14.5. I uh, don't know if I've got one with my actual shade, if I haven't thrown it away. I've got CX 15, too dark for me and I don't like to um contour using concealer it's not something i like to do plus is it me or is it looking a little bit funky i don't know anyways the clutter yeah so i've got cx16 too dark the clutter so i think this is the one that is my shade cx14.5 i'm gonna keep this one and then the elf 16 hour camo concealer i enjoyed using this one but I've had it for a little while and I don't think I've used it this year. So I'm going to declutter it. Uoma Beauty um, say Stay Woke Concealer. This loved. Empty now. I need to get myself a new one. This is an empty bottle. I kept it for this video. Going. I love that concealer. Like, <laughs> I've got the I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Concealer. This is in Hazelnut. I never got onto loving the wand of these concealers. I'm sure the coverage is just as great as Revolution because obviously they do really good um, concealers and products like that. But I don't like I don't like the wands. I'm definitely gonna declutter that one. My um, Revolution Ultimate Radiant Eye Concealer. This is empty as well. Like, this is fully used. Kept it for this purpose. So, the clutter, as a matter of fact, I might just throw them in the trash straight away. And then, MUA um, Pro Base Concealers. Never got into loving them. The ones are so tough. I just never, just never. So, I've got a brand new one. 183. And then, 182 was my shade. So I'm definitely gonna declutter, declutter. Um, Revlon Photo Ready Candid uh, Concealer. Didn't enjoy this. This is shade Cafe. Don't like it. Didn't work for me. My Pat McGrath Labs Concealer in MD24. Absolutely love this. I've used it in so many videos. I love it. My uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. I love this. I'm only decluttering it because it's super old. And I think I either have one coming or I can't remember now. But anyway, this is super old. So it just needs to leave. I don't particularly like the applicator. It's one of the reasons why I kind of want to get rid of this one. Because I was using it straight on my face. But the new one that I'm going to get, I'll just apply it to the back of my hand before using on my face. So that's gonna go la girl pro conceal if you know you know this is an og concealer in shade fawn i enjoyed using this again this year definitely gonna keep my eye bright illuminating under eye concealer in deep tan from revolution completely finished i love this i have a full review on my channel it's getting rid my Conceal and Define in C13. Absolutely going to keep that. I love the Conceal and Define Infinite. But I think I finished my shade. So I've only got light shades now. Um, So this is C11. Which is too light. It's going to leave. 
I've got this one in C16, which is too dark, and I don't contour with um, concealers. Let's see, and then I've got this one in C12.2, which is, again is just it's just too light. I don't really like the really light under eye effect. I almost feel like I'm not gonna have any concealers left <laughs> very soon. Um, my Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer in C1. Again, I don't use concealers for my lid, so I kind of bought this for like a base for my eyeshadow, but I don't do that. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I've got the Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer in Deep Caramel. Don't believe this is my shade. Yeah, this is too dark. Um, and I don't contour with these products, so no. And then I've got Caramel. Caramel is okay. I think it's a little bit yeah it's all right i'm gonna keep this one it's a shade caramel and then i've got my conceal and define in c 12.5 love that heartbreaker brand new going heartbreaker brand new in pretzel going um i've got conceal and hydrate i believe this is empty no, it's not. Conceal and Hydrate in C13. I love this. This is hydrating. So if you've got dry under eye, definitely try this one out. It's full coverage. I don't know what they're talking about, medium coverage. It's full coverage. If you know the technique, give your concealer some time to dry before you blend it out. This will get you there. So I'm definitely keeping that. And I've got C11.2, which is too light. So no. Um. Conceal and Define. You can tell that I love my Conceal and Define. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> Another one? Um, Conceal and Define C12.5. Love that. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I use this to contour because it's pretty dark. Um, yeah, I'm just going to declutter because it's too dark for me. My Laura Mercier Flawless fusion ultra longwear concealer this is another concealer that i absolutely love very gentle underneath the eye doesn't leave the eye feeling dry or cakey or anything so definitely keeping oh yeah i do have another one of this maybelline you can tell that i love this so this needs to go it's pretty old um this one i don't even remember if i've used this since the video this is the mary Kay concealer in light bronze if i remember this was quite light yeah it's quite light for me so i never use it after that i really don't like the overly light effect underneath my eye i feel like i'm too old for that so that's going and then i've got the tarte creaseless concealer in tan deep sand this is too light but i love the coverage of this so i'm willing to keep this one and just mix it in um, just to give me maybe a little bit more brightness on the days that I'm feeling funky. So I love the um, consistency of that on the finish. So I'm going to keep that one. I've got another Conceal and Hydrate in C12. C12 is probably the lightest I would go. So we're going to keep that one. Let's keep it together. So I have all my Revolution. Okay. Another Revolution C12.5. This one is the Conceal and Define. I have so many. This is ridiculous. I have so many Conceal and Define. So many. Um, This one was a surprise. This is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer in C12.2. This thing is hella full coverage. Very thick, very full coverage. I absolutely enjoy it. I think I need to pick up another one, maybe in a darker shade. But I'll still keep this one because I've used it quite a few times. Same with this one. I don't think you've ever heard of this brand. This is Thin Lizzy. I believe they're either a German brand. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. But anyway, I got to try their Flawless Complexion Concealer. And I absolutely fell in love with this. This thing is very full coverage. The shade in this one is no idea i have no idea what shade this is but i'm gonna keep this because i enjoy it i never got around to using the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealers 
These are supposed to be full coverage anti-aging concealers and I just never got around to it. Do I want to keep it? This one looks, the deep looks pretty good. Let's see. It's pretty thick though. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the deep. And I'm going to get rid of this one because it's quite light. This one is Enrich. And then the last one is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Deep Sand. Similar to the other Tarte Concealer. It is quite light, but I like to mix it in on days that I'm feeling extra funky. So, I downsized the concealers from two trays to one. How mad is that? Let me just have a scalp through because I have the tendency of moving things about. Let me see if I've got any other concealers hiding somewhere. Alright, so in my stash of extras, I have the Revolution Pro Ultimate Radiant Concealer. So I have some extras. I've got C13 so I can pop that one in, which is a direct replacement of my other one. And I've got C12, which I'll also pop that one in because C12 is the lightest that I like to go for the Revolution Concealers. But yeah, let me pop this back and have a count of how many we're decluttering. Okay, so I'm getting rid of 24 concealers. Um, obviously these are the ones that are empty, so I'm going to trash them. So altogether they're 24 concealers. It's crazy to think that I had 24 just concealers just filling up my space. Like of no use, no value. So let me show you what it looks like in place. There you have it. These are all my concealers. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 concealers. I'm very happy with that. Some of them are obviously extras, but I'm happy that they all fit in here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this quick declutter. Um, definitely check out the other declutter videos if you haven't. And if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And you can go one step further by sharing it with your friends and all with a concealer hoarder because <laughs> i know i was and yeah i'll catch you in a future video remember god doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today and black lives will always matter and i'll catch you soon bye